My name is Omer Barkatullah. I'm teaching graphic design at the German University in Cairo and I'll be judging some of these pictures for Cairo Camera Club. We have a fairly bog-standard still life of vegetables, tomatoes and a very large onion. There's nothing very striking about this image except the arrangement of colors is quite nice but it doesn't say anything, it doesn't communicate anything new. Um, it's rather seen before and not very innovative or original. I'll give it one star. A picture of a, a very grainy picture of a man looking at himself on a sofa. I think it's interesting, it's quite dreamlike, but it's not engaging me to care about this man very much. There's, there's no pain, there's no conflict, there's no, uh, s there's no indication of what this man is feeling or what, why he's doing what he's doing. Uh, the quality of the photography is also very grainy and very low. So I think it's an innovative approach or it's a technically uh, an interesting approach but it didn't deliver as well as it could have. So I'll give this also one star. Another picture with the same theme of uh, repeating the same figure or the same character more than once. Interesting, th uh, three men with one shadow. Uh, I, I think the portraits or the portrait of one man is much more engaging than the previous example. Um, it would have been more interesting if he was posing in a slightly different way in each uh, repetition of himself. But technically, I like the composition of staggering these faces from up, down, up, down. I think I'd like to see more of this, uh, this person's work. I'll give it two stars. I don't know what to say about the use of a plant and a, a folding metal chair. The, the most striking thing about the picture is the blue sort of wave of light. I just think the, the kind of s the boredom of the, the boringness of the objects in the center are, are not, you know, not suitable for the kind of light that you have, you have uh, placed around the object. It would have been much more interesting if you had something in the center which was more dynamic and much more uh, meaningful. I don't think you used a plant or a chair because they had some relation to the light. You just used them because maybe they were the first thing that was available. So for that reason, I'll give you one star. With a very bright fireworks display around some oranges and a vase of flowers. It's an interesting illumination. I don't know what shape you're trying to make. Mickey Mouse or some sort of, I don't know, it looks like somebody's kidneys or it could be something else. Uh, as a composition, I don't think you've painted, if we're talking about painting, I don't think you've painted an interesting composition. It's not balanced. It's not, doesn't look like anything. If it's supposed to be abstract, then the use of uh, oranges and flowers. Um, haven't really worked well. Um, although the uh, the color and the reflection in the on the table is quite interesting, um, I'll give you one star. A bottle pouring some light into a glass. I actually quite like this idea, and the, it's very ghost-like. It's as if there is some sort of invisible man pouring this light into a cup and uh, the colors are very minimal and subdued and um, 
it's a simple idea. Maybe you should try the same thing but with different flows of water. The way the water is flowing out of the bottle could be uh, experimented with. I'll give it three stars out of three stars. You've used orange and blue light to create certain abstract shapes which looks a little bit like maybe Chinese characters, Chinese typography. You could have taken this even further and maybe actually made some typographic uh, typographic shapes and uh, experimented with that. Uh, I don't see any other I don't really see the, the meaning behind it. I don't really get what you're trying to do but as a couple of shapes I think as a couple of shapes, I think it's uh, fairly well composed, so I'll give you two out of three. You have some digital typography in light, which you've uh, distorted and blurred by maybe moving the camera. I think it's interesting. I think uh, you could take it to another level by using different devices, more devices which give off typography in an illuminated way. So you could have got maybe four or five alarm clocks and a few different devices and played around with that as opposed to just one uh, one device with one word. But uh, it's a beginning so I'll give you um, one out of one star out of three. It's uh, another bottle pouring some light into a cup, which looks very similar to uh, another one of our uh, photographers. Um, I think uh, if we're going to compare the two, because they're so very similar, I think this is the, the worst example because there's not enough illumination, not enough light showing, a little, showing the background or showing where this um, this photograph is being uh, taken. Uh, yeah, and there's no kind of you know, play with the glass. The glass reflects and refracts light. Um, if you had made it a longer exposure, maybe you would have seen more more effects taking place with glass. Uh, so I give this uh, two out of three stars. We have a very similar fireworks uh, display of a vase of flowers. I don't think... Uh, also, it's very similar to another candidate's work. Um, I don't think you've really added any meaning to the flowers. You know, you could have made it look as if um, the flowers themselves are producing light, or you could have removed the flowers and made light be the contents of the vase so that the flowers are actually um, made of light. So I think uh, a little bit more a little bit more imagination next time. I give it I give it two out of three stars. You have a series of green circles and I quite like this experiment. I don't know how you did it and I really want to know how you made it. So that actually attracts me and it makes me uh, intrigued and um, curious. I, I see lots of depth, I see layers, I see the universe, I see space and it reminds me of uh, Islamic geometry and I think could take, you could definitely take this further and start looking at um, Islamic patterns around Egypt, around Cairo and try to try to uh, develop this and uh, use your knowledge of geometry and mathematics to uh, really take this to another level. But the depth is amazing and the way you've created a three-dimensional space and um, how you've selected certain points to be to be pivots for new circles. Uh, again, don't know how you made them but there's, there's some accuracy some great accuracy going on here and uh, yeah, I, I think you can do you can really develop this and make some really good um, work and uh, turn it into a series I give it three out of three stars 
where we have a very blue very blue background with light which is also painted in blue I think it's a little bit dull to see these lines it doesn't really say anything it doesn't really intrigue you as to why you made these lines the way you did um, maybe you can play with the idea of the shadows in the background um, fitting somehow with the line so maybe you could you could take a photograph with different shadows and you could use the lines to follow those shadows around um, at the moment it just looks disconnected it looks like the lines were just added on afterwards I give it one out of three stars where you have a red light approaching uh, a, a, an array of glasses, drinking glasses. Um, I find the kind of horror theme quite strong here, but uh, the glasses do look very orderly and you could try something like this with broken glass, it would look, it would look much more um, horror related uh, and also broken glass would still reflect and refract the light so that your use of light, light painting won't be wasted um, I just think uh, as a composition I, I don't really know what's going on I don't know what that light on the right hand side is I, I really want to see a little bit more I know you're trying to be abstract but because we can see the glasses are basically glasses so we want to know what that light is doing on the other side and is it a person is it a, is it supposed to be liquid being poured or something um, it's very unclear so try to give us more as a ph photographer try to give us more to look at I give it one out of three where you have a very happy couple in love um, it's very hard to draw a good stick man and uh, I have nothing against you trying to make a little drawing but the little drawing I think was rushed and uh, and uh, I think the stick man could have had more character to to him and the stick woman also um, you didn't base them on a good base you just put a sort of curved line um, and uh, to put them in love and have it as a, as a beautiful starry night is fine but there's no other story going on here it could have been more interesting if he was proposing to her in marriage and the ring on her finger was illuminated I don't know I give it one out of three some lemons which are exploding I think I like the idea that lemons are illuminated or exploding in this in this uh, energy I want to see maybe this done with just one lemon and you could do it with different fruit and you could try it to try and show you know the kind of tastes uh, taste being communicated by light or taste being communicated by energy so different foods could you know you can enhance the the character of this fruit, maybe you cut the fruit in half and try it with different fruit. It could be a very interesting project. I give it two out of three. You have some Christmas decorations. I don't think you've answered the brief. You haven't really painted with light, you've just captured um, something which exists in the environment. So I don't think you've really experimented or expressed anything new you haven't really taken the picture well either it's very grainy and it looks like you shake you've shaken the camera a little bit um yeah i give it one out of three i quite like this uh, it's it's composition is very interesting you haven't shown much of the human figure but you've you've left a lot to the imagination which is a good thing um its composition is well balanced and uh, you kind of know you kind of understand that this is the same person in the photograph 
uh, in different in two different moments, and you could carry this on, try to show a series of moments uh, captured in one photograph. Maybe you should carry this on, and you could use his hands, and you could use his other features to um, to enhance this. Three out of three. We have a man covering his face or not covering covering his face in the second frame. Um, I think it's a good experiment in uh, how to use a human face in uh, two different shots, one overlapping the other. But there's nothing in it which really is out of the ordinary. The the idea is supposed to be that this man is being silenced, I think, and and he's trying to shout out or he's trying to speak out. I think the silencing isn't really showing. Uh, maybe you need to expose that a little bit longer so that the hand which is covering the mouth is the dominant um, the dominant picture. I give it two out of three. Uh, I think it needs some work and some thought. You have a, an arrow going through a heart. I think you need to work on how you draw your heart. Um, maybe make it a bit more three-dimensional. You can do that kind of thing with light painting. You at the moment have this line which is supposed to be a heart but looks uh, like a, a pretty weak drawing of a heart. Uh, I like the idea but it could be much more dynamic because you're working in three dimensions, you're working with distance, you could have you know, uh, the arrow coming from a distance and coming towards the viewer, etc, etc. I give it one out of three.